My name is Mark, and I work with the Minnesota Department of Agriculture, and uh, I run this crazy piece of equipment as part of my job. This is called a rain simulator. Well, that's a fancy name, but really all it is is it's just uh, a fancy garden sprinkler, but it's a high-tech garden sprinkler. We can control the the raindrops so that they are very similar to a Midwestern thunderstorm. And we go to farm fields, we have a rain simulator that's three times as long as this one, and we take it to farm fields and we apply storm events and we study erosion. Here we have an oats cover crop that was planted uh, in uh, uh, early September and then was killed by winter kill. Uh, and uh, it's still out there providing a water quality benefit. Uh, this is a bare soil box, so this would be worst case scenario. We're trying to minimize the amount of moldboard plow that's occurring in Minnesota. So uh, uh, that's an example of uh, aggressive tillage. And then this would uh, be something that the city kids are familiar with. We've got wood chips. Uh, uh, the kids see their parents uh, putting wood chips in or in the playground for both for water quality and for uh, decorative mulch. And we also here we have uh, a piece of plastic in each one of the boxes so that uh, they get to see the soil splash. Here you can see the results of the soil splash, the difference between the bare soil and the uh, wood chips. And the boxes are all slanted uh, forward and they all have a um, uh, uh, a, a spout to collect water and then we're able to put uh, a jar in, at the base of each one of the spouts and then we collect the water and uh, we show the children the differences in water quality and quantity so here we've got from the cover crop and these are both from the bare soil so the water volume and the water quality differs by the way that we treat our uh, soil resource. So that's the overarching message that we present to the children. So add a little water. We've got our box that allows us to control the rate. Well the biggest thing that I try to put across is that we're all in this together and that uh, the issues are not simple. Uh, so, you know, for example, with the conservation tillage or with the cover crop, uh, it's easy to say, well, this is what we ought to be doing, but uh, it just simply is not that simple. Uh, so uh, I hope that they take away from this that um, uh, it's an ongoing struggle uh, for a better world.